the East Coast Road, popularly known as the ECR in southern India, is arguably one of the most popular and scenic driving routes in the country. The coastline is never too far and there are plenty of stopover options. Today, we travel along with a young sports person and actor and make all those necessary pit stops you would want to know about. Much like a movie from the Tamil film industry, our show promises to be action-packed and high on adrenaline. Fasten your seatbelts, this is The Getaway. Welcome to Chennai. A cricketer who has recently made his foray into the popular Tamil film industry was eager to make a road trip alone to escape everything and get some much needed me time. And so naturally, we were going to be his guide. It's been a pretty life-changing year for me in a way and uh, you know it's been amazing. I think the transition from sportsman to actor has been phenomenal. I think uh, you know family businesses in India are pretty big and you could say sport has been ours. Uh, so in that sense you know sport is always going to be a part of my life. Uh, but I think the nicest thing and the nicest difference about being an actor is having the luxury of a retake. And it's amazing. I mean acting has been phenomenal. I've just had my first release with Veeram and you know with Ajit Kumar and a whole host of uh, you know great actors. So I learned a lot. It's been an amazing experience and uh, definitely going to be an interesting year ahead one way or another. You know, definitely looking forward to it. Everyone um, is too involved in you know, the hustle and bustle of their lives and never really stops to smell the roses as they say, you know, to be cliched. But uh, I think it's, it's important to just get that small break, you know, even if it's for a few hours on a Sunday, you know, that's, uh, it's important. It's, and there's the little nooks and corners that are yet to be discovered or that we know of and don't really go to, you know. And Pondi is a great place, I, I love it. It's a great place to just go chill out and, you know, get a weekend away or get some time off and uh, different experience again and something that, uh, I love adventure, I love something new, I love things thrown at me a little while. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to it for sure. It's important to go and do that for just those few hours on a, on a, you know, on a weekend and it gets you to just clear your head and, you know, maybe get some fresh thoughts and fresh uh, inputs on life. So, I think it's definitely important to get a quick getaway. Chandok had already set out from his home after breakfast. The plan was to meet him beyond city limits to avoid any morning congestion on the road. We chose the very popular and very fluidic Verna as his vehicle. A good looking car like that would perfectly complement Suhail's personality. The journey from his home at Koturpuram in South Chennai to the East Coast Road is a relatively short one. But despite our efforts, he couldn't beat the traffic. So this has basically become the um, sort of industrial hub. This okay. road used to be completely underdeveloped um, and now it's just sort of uh, bloomed into like this whole IT and industrial sort of sector. As you hit the East Coast Road or the ECR, you will encounter a National Highway Authority of India toll plaza. Thank you. Thank you. I, meanwhile, had made my way to our planned meeting point in my Zippy i20. 
the Madras Crocodile Bank Trust is about 25 kilometers from Koturpuram and one of the first things you notice as you leave the city behind. Instead of waiting, I chose to take a quick look around. The Madras Crocodile Bank Trust and Center for Herpetology is one of the oldest non-governmental organizations in Asia. Spread over eight and a half acres of land, this environment-friendly space makes for a great stopover on the East Coast Road. Oh my God, peeping. Children would especially be thrilled with the sheer number of crocodiles around. I say children, but my own excitement was right up there. So there are about 15 crocodiles in this small little pond and all of them are fast asleep. Don't wake them up. An entry into the park will cost you a very reasonable 20 rupees per person. As I enjoyed my own alone time, Suhail drove up to where I was. He seemed as eager as I was for our impending drive. How's it going? Good, so, good, good, yeah. So how's the drive been so far? I think the good thing about being in Madras is you're always close to the beach and right. I think uh, down this road you're always sort of 50 meters away and you turn left anywhere and you hit the beach. So Suhail, you've just made your debut as an actor and yeah. I'm sure as an actor you have a lot of time in between schedules. Yeah. So how do you choose to spend your free time? Well, I think it's been an interesting transition. I think from waking up at 5 in the morning and waking up for cricket training, I'm now waking yeah. up at the same 5 in the morning and doing stunt training and dance training and yeah. uh, you know, it's a bit different. It's been a nice transition. I mean, obviously Viram was very special to me and it was a phenomenal experience to to you know be with the people that I was on set and uh, I learned a lot. I'm very outdoorsy. I love uh, I love the outdoors. I love sport and um, I think that's something that'll always be a part of my life. So uh, we have some surprises coming up. Yeah, I'm looking forward to 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 Pondicherry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> As our chat was rudely interrupted, we decided to hit the road again. The ECR is essentially a straight road for most parts. But I think it's the openness and the feeling of escaping the city that instantly gets you going. We don't have too many places from the city where we can just take a quick drive. And uh, for me, it, it, it's a really nice way to just clear my head and also get really good thoughts. Um, I tend to think a lot when I'm on the road and, and, and get my best thoughts, I guess, uh, when I'm driving or riding. ECR essentially connects Chennai to Kudalur via Pondicherry. This 160 km stretch is now being extended to almost 690 km. The road now leads up to Tutukuri. A multi crore project expanding the ECR till Kanyakumari is in progress. If you're going early mornings, I'd say don't even use the air conditioner. Uh, you know, just um, roll your windows down, feel the air and the, the sea breeze hitting you. So uh, that's what I do and that's why I love um, this drive because it's just really fresh. But a scenic drive isn't the only treat on this route. The East Coast Road has a lot more to offer. Much before our planned activity later in the day for Suhail, we made a surprise stopover. About 8 kilometers ahead of the Crocodile Trust is Chennai Off-Road, which is where you can ride an all-terrain vehicle or an ATV. That looks cool, no? really nice place. This track here has been developed to give your off-roading ambition some outlet, but without the risks or any need for high level of skills in this area. Safety measures are in place and there is constant supervision too. Yeah, yeah. So, strap on that helmet and let the action begin. Come on, enjoy.
still coming from a motorsport family you definitely proved that you have <laughs> speed in those veins yeah i think uh, it was a good test of whether i fit in or if i was the black sheep but i think <laughs> i think i did okay you did well no, you were really, really like going uh, fast over those <laughs> slopes there yeah no you weren't so bad either <laughs> you know it was, it was good fun it was really Thanks. good actually uh, the fun is in the speed isn't yeah, it yeah yeah i think so yeah 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 oh, so would you recommend this to your friends yeah i think i found a new pit stop on our ride i think we'll skip the big breakfast and right come here and uh, yeah. do a quick ride it was, it was definitely a lot of fun <laughs> i'm glad we discovered that after about 45 minutes of off-roading fun, Suhail and I very reluctantly left our ATVs to get back on the road. We still had a journey to complete now, didn't we? Mahabalipuram lies about 25 kilometers ahead of our off-roading site and about 60 kilometers from Chennai itself. The town is on the UNESCO list of heritage sites across the world. After a short break, find out what we had on our lunch menu and where we drove further on to. Keep watching The Getaway. actor Suheel Chando and I are traveling from Chennai to Pondicherry on the East Coast Road going north along the Bay of Bengal coastline. We are at Mahabalipuram about 50 kilometers away from Suheel's home at Koturpuram in Chennai. Mahabalipuram or Mamalapuram is worthy of a getaway in itself. The town is known for its Shore Temple, which dates back to 700 AD. The beautifully carved monuments from a different era aren't the town's only attraction though. Indigenous parrot foretellers, a process that is truly intriguing, are all major attractions. Behind me here is Krishna's Butterball. It's this massive rock formation that's been perched on the slope for centuries together and hasn't moved. So all in all, Mahabalipuram makes for a great place to stop by for some quick photo ops, some shopping and a grand dose of history. One aspect I did not mention is the food. When you're so close to the coast, you want to indulge in some good seafood. Suhail and I made our little drive towards one of Mahabalipuram's popular joint, Moonrakers. Oh, it's check that out. Really, oh my god. So that's the crab. So this is a female. Two female. So this is a weight. It's a one kg. It's a one kg. So, sorry. sorry. That's it. Thank you. So that's uh, both female. So basically, okay. you get to choose. So they bring you the things you get to choose which, which, uh, which crab you want. Okay, and should we try some tiger, tiger prawns? I don't know if I have such a big appetite. Let's, let's dig let's in. Let's dig in, come on. Moonrakers is a very well-known joint amongst those who love seafood. We enjoyed the food and also got some attention as well. If Mahabalipuram is your stopover en route to Pondicherry, make sure you grab some of the freshest seafood here at Moonrakers. Back on the East Coast Road, we are making our way towards Pondicherry. The town is located a little over 100 kilometers from Mahabalipuram. The two lane ECR is still a delight to drive on. It's worth nothing that this is no four or eight lane tollway, yet there is no congestion on route. This is also when you start to see salt farms along some of the stretches on the road. The only thought right now is, is looking forward to the next couple of days. I think I've been looking forward to a, a good break and you guys have given me the perfect getaway now. Pondicherry, or Pondi, as most of us lovingly call this coastal city, is a former French colony. Popular for its four beaches, this city is based on the French grid pattern and so has perpendicular streets. 
but we weren't headed for the beach. Suheil and I were driving towards a scuba diving site. Yes, you heard that right, a scuba dive site managed by Temple Adventures. Temple Adventures is the only diving school on the East Coast. Highly experienced divers and trainers conduct classes for those seeking certified courses and yes, there are basic introductory courses for beginners as well. The school is the only one in mainland India to offer the instructor development course and the instructor examinations. For Suhail and I, this was going to be a whole new experience. The school does offer a one-day experience program for absolute first-timers. Adventure enthusiast Suhail seemed excited about this surprise finale. I've always had this uh, little bit of a fear of sharks uh, from the past, but I think I'm, I'm over that I think now, so I'm looking forward to it. It's something I've never done before and never knew existed uh, anywhere close to Madras. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to scuba diving. Both of us were a tad nervous, and it was just as well that our guide and instructor was Chief Trainer S.B. Arvind. Arvind is one of only six Paddy IDC staff instructors in India, and the sole one in Tamil Nadu. We were definitely in good hands. So, how did you start? I started my first day in 2004 at Andamans with my one of my Navy. Uh, friend. So what else do you see underwater here in Bondicherry? It's a very beautiful marine life. But uh -huh. Pondi is very famous for deep sight. So okay. 30 meters depth, we can see like fantastic uh, marine life, like corals and uh, a lot of sea fans and big gropers and whale sharks. Oh, wow. All the mammals. Your, your size fish, jackfish. Oh, wow. <laughs> very nice things uh -huh. to see. It come closer to you. Right. And how deep are you taking us? Uh, your limit is 12 meters. The DLD limit is 12 meters. Okay. That's why you you learn some safety skills last day, right? right. So how 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 long does it take to get? Uh, to like 20 minutes drive. Okay. From here, like five kilometers from the shore. Oh, five km from the shore. Yeah. Mm. Oh wow. You can see the shore. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> landing part. From there. <laughs> we don't have time to swim back either. I don't <laughs> think we are too scared. Are you? Are you? Well, well like to... it's really weird. I had this. Um, Really weird phobia of sharks because uh, my brother and his friends when we were kids where we watched, he made me watch Jaws 1 and 2 and then threw me in a swimming pool and followed me with a silver cardboard fin and ever since then I've been scared of swimming in a pool and not just the sea so I think this is a good tester to see if uh, to get, over yeah. get over that fear. Yeah. You know one thing, sharks never attack divers, only okay. in the movies will attack. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, take your gears and let's go for diving. Founded in 2007 by Rob, David and Arvind, this school offers scuba pro workshops. We changed into our gear soon enough and had an exciting orientation session. Before we knew it, we were on a boat headed out to the sea. Choppy waters are never an impediment to the calming effect that the sea has on you. My guest and I were quite literally soaking it all in. For the lack of a better explanation, with an actor on board, this truly was a filmy moment. And like in every movie, this too had a climax. If you live anywhere close to the ECR or are a tourist around these parts and enjoy a little adventure, note these details and make this a must-do on your list. Nothing we 
we say right now can describe being underwater for this experience. What an amazing way to end a perfect getaway. Like Suhail, if you intend to stay at Pondicherry, here are a couple of options. This has truly been an exhilarating day in every sense. If you would like us to plan your next escape from your busy schedules, do write to us or tweet us on these IDs. And I'll see you soon with yet another great getaway. Here's a quick reminder of today's route. The journey began at Suhail's home in Koturpuram. We then travelled 25 kilometres to the Crocodile Bank Trust. Another 8 kilometres ahead, we made our exciting pit stop at Chennai Off-Road. We then travelled a further 25 kilometres to Mahabalipuram. After lunch there, we travelled to our eventual destination, Pondicherry.